Okay, I want you to do an update. So I'm going to show you guys is how my AV system set up. We're going to go do the we already knew how the stair set. The stair set's pretty much the same. Now I'm going to show you my audio video set up. My uh, entertainment center is all set up. How it's all set up. How it's all rigged. And I'm going to show you how it's currently set up before I actually replace this TV. Probably. I don't have to put it my, my, my taxes. But, um, so let's start out with the, um, TV itself. It is a pretty scan, um, 32 inch TV from 2015. And hooked up to it, to East Right One, is a Roku Express. Not the Plus, just the, regular, the original Express. Because the Express Plus has the AV out. This one does not have the AV out. This is just the original, regular Plus. Um, regular uh, Express. This is a regular Express system. Well, my uncle has the Express Plus. I have the original Express. He has... Because ours is just different. The Plus has a, a, like a headphone jack thing on it. And it has a thing for, for AV out. And a long TV out. Another thing is a Blu-ray player. This is where I watch DVDs and Blu-rays and HD. This is a Samsung unit. Sadly, Samsung no longer makes the unit no more because they don't want to make Blu-rays. It's actually a nice unit. It's actually not bad. It's just slow. This is one of the cheap units. This one's been in the, this one's been in the market the longest. Um, I've already got this one in 2016. They still sell, they sold it until this year. You can't find it no more. Down here, it is the VCR. This VCR is hooked to composite. I mean, I'm gonna get it upscaler, but I need to get it, uh, I think it's This TV one has two HDMI inputs, so that guy split. I'll hook it the uh, Switch or the Blu-ray player. If I'm using my laptop, I'll hook one the uh, Blu-ray player to Switch, whatever the HDMI is hooked up to. Um, and then the sound system for the TV is the Gateway Diamond Audio speakers. This one's the one the amplifier still has the original speaker. The original speaker on this on the uh the left side. I was stupid enough to pull it in and they broke it. So I just cut the cut it off, spliced the wires, put a longer new wire to the wires on it and it works. And this is actually running off the Yamaha power supply. Because when my ink gave it to me, it didn't have the original power supply. This is one of those wall dives like the clock they so clock it has. Now tonight I even had to set all these clocks forward because uh, uh this clock this clock forward because the clocks go forward tonight. But everything else goes to the cell. Now this one here is the place you want, and that goes to the VCR do composite. The VCR goes out composite, so that gives me more composite inputs for the T V. Um the Roku is actually way really set up. I do not certainly have a TV pen right now, but I do have the pay TV channels, uh, Sling TV, and then I have uh, Pluto, which is free. It's just its own kind of network, kind of own, its own kind of live TV. Uh, Spark. I do listen to these kinds of TV. These speakers are not bad. This speaker right here, and these speakers here, are are good ones because they actually just like these speakers that produce a lot of good bass and. The Mac bass, the Mac bass to it, and it, it sounds really good. Um, you get that warm feeling sound to it. Um, the VCR remote will work with the TV, so if the battery dies on this remote, which I had that happen when I was trying to program to the, which it, I got frustrated when I got with it, and I figured out it was from because the power button does flash. It, it will tell you the battery's dead. This is a GE remote. Now, the GE, I explained this in the board on the PS4 that the original remote for these, these TVs don't seem to last. TVs seem to last, last longer than the remote did. Because my brother, I used my brother, probably can't find a remote for this one. But the remote for, uh, I bought this remote at Walmart, and the, the manufacturer is kind of like Gale, Gale, something like that. He's a manufacturer. They don't have, they don't guess they don't have, uh, I don't know, Jalco something like that. It's, it's a company, Jarco or something like that. It's like a company. 
They used to manufacture these under the um, um, audio box, which is now called Vox. I guess they they broke up their relationship with the partnership with um, Vox. Let's tell you, this one is actually better than when the Vox they want. Um, the Roku will sometimes freeze up, sometimes gotta go down here, the power strip, unplug it, plug it back in, because you gotta also make sure the power slide, the plug closed down, because both this and the power slide both, power slide both, seems to overheat. Um, the speakers are set to halfway, because I have to have halfway to make it loud enough to hear it. It's better what these speakers are in this TV, this TV does, does have trouble, with no bass at all. And then the bass makes the sound kind of loud. I figured that out. Um, you can get hear everything better, including the voices, so you can hear the voices better. And behind the TV is just a wire mesh a mess. Uh, I got new composite cables for the VCR. I explained that too because the, the, uh, these are uh, the composite cables I got here are. Um, Walmart's own in brand because the RCA brand ones that you get for a dollar um, seem not to last long. They wore out and they started to have so much trouble after a while. Uh, and they got a uh, PlayStation ones hooked up. I haven't played it in a while. Only game I'm really playing focus on is Driver. I actually just found the manual. It's in the closet. It's in the, it's not a case with a manual side, it's in the closet right now. But, um, excuse, excuse me, this here, but, it's probably good things. I just moved, yeah, you can tell I just moved things around here, and that's why this room is kind of messy. I just started doing shit around. Um, down here is where I usually put my controllers, my power supply, my extra power supply, my switch. This one I have here, this is like a newer one. This is the one I use when I, I play it in portable mode, and I might or I take it on the go. Uh, my switch games, which some of the cases for Street Fighter for some reason is open. Uh, so my games are here, and they're not in the order yet. I have to figure it out. Um, this is the reason this 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 will come off the open internet because it's water damaged. But yeah, see how this is a uh, you know this got controllers in here. I think my my controllers in here. I think my wire controllers are just my PlayStation. I don't know why they had this hooked up. I might just pull up, put this up there soon. Um, the outlet's right here for it. That was kind of, like I said, that was kind of wall. But you know, the white one's going to the uh, my my, ta my table for my next to my bed. And then the orange one goes to the lamp because I actually moved the lamp around. Um, so yeah, and then. Uh, the way this TV sounds is kind of good. I'm not going to actually turn the switch on because you, it's... I don't play it much. Uh, we'll put something on. And that on. There you go. Right here with me confidence. And I was able to parlay that confidence into meeting your mother, starting a family, and getting a job at the CIA. Wait, Mom? So, but the, um, uh, so that, the VCR, you just gotta use, the VCR, um, that one was a hard set, because it's got a different interface, you just gotta go forward and back on it, instead of just entering the, the, using the number pad. So I hate that, I hate, I hate better just entering the numbers. This is from 2000, right when they changed the VCRs, the interfaces started changing and made it harder to set the clock. Probably why a lot later on people didn't get a clock set in these clocks, because they made it harder to set it. This is like how this clock is, you just gotta go forward and back just to set the time. I had a saying that did that, and my grandma had an RCA TV so I can do that too. So I'm assuming area this one is. I so say the 2000s when they started changing the interface and it harder to the clock, we had to go forward and back. And I do get it, got the original broken, but the batteries on this still work. I hadn't used this one that much. I kept this one. I used this one more. 
but the one for the VCR and the rookie are standby. I'm standby in case this one dies. But as far as the batteries in this, I got this. Uh, uh, I got batteries for this. They're Panasonic alkaline batteries, and they actually last for about a month. So that's not bad. It actually kind of lasted long enough, I thought. I am making to get chargeable batteries. This, there is a phone jack here. I don't use this one. The cable one's actually on the other side of the room. It's like next to where the heaters, these here sit in it. Trash is sitting in it. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't need cable wire running to my TV no more. For cable TV. I mean, I got, uh, I got the, uh, Sling TV. I'm gonna hit turn soft I don't get copyrighted. Um, but, like I said, the rookie has been pain, it's just because it's overheating. There's no way of turning them off. The stereo, I sit like this. Yes, that clock is on top of it. I know that's not a good thing, but it's got plenty of air circulation going to it. Especially because this room stays cool. Because that window is bad. But yeah, that's, that's kind of what my uh, IVS set up. The VCR does work. And I figure it's actually louder than the uh, Blu ray is, or DV and Blu ray is. I'm gonna turn on my uh, turn this on for a minute. Take that back to EP, but, but um, yeah, see, it, it actually plays too. I want the DV in there. Once you get the high file, you'll hear how that would get. Before I high five pick up here soon. Oh, I got a lot quick. See, I get locked, but this high fi kicks in, the it gets loud. And this like louder than a DVD can get, because I stuck some, uh, the Adventure of Sun's Hedgehog, and that thing was so quiet. That was so loud. What the, it was quieter than the, uh, this was. But it's what, I mean, it's clear, but it was just too quiet. And yes, you can actually hear the uh, hi-fi stereo sound out of the VCR from the movie. But the Blu-ray. Now here's the thing with this Blu-ray player. It does no longer have. There's. It's already losing app support. So because my um, aunt's uh, fiance Bill has one, has the same one. The same fact one. He used to use it all the time for Hulu and Netflix. Well, Hulu dropped support completely on, uh, on series of Blu-ray players. I'm pretty soon this Blu-ray player will come obsolete because it's just, it's not really that powerful, uh, blue, uh it's not really that powerful. The Roku is more powerful than it can do. Mm, game calls can do, because stream devices, they can stream devices are smart TVs and game calls those. And hell, even laptops are more powerful than this thing is. This thing's weak. Um, this is actually not mine, though. This is actually my brother's. It, it works. Um, but yeah, that's my setup. But yeah. Yeah, that what has, what has my audio system set up. 